This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Why the Prime Minister refuses to fire his incompetent and misleading public safety minister. And it is that the Prime Minister himself was the one who accepted the transfer of Paul Bernardo from a maximum security prison to a medium security prison where he would have access to human interaction, more freedom and more comfort. His office knew three months beforehand and his cabinet has the power to direct the uh, correctional authorities to keep mass murderers in maximum security prisons. Will the Prime Minister show the courage to stand on his feet and explain to victims of Paul Bernardo why he wanted to give this monster more freedom and comfort? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. Well, first of all, Mr. Speaker, the idea that anybody in this House um, would have any sympathy uh, for the monstrous acts that were committed is absolutely repugnant. Uh, the second thing that I will say, Mr. Speaker, is that it's unfortunate that the Leader of the Opposition mischaracterized uh, what happened. He knows very well that Correctional Services Canada makes those decisions independently. He knows very well as well, Mr. Speaker, that we have a system we're not supposed to interfere politically with that. Mr. Speaker, it is true in March that, that staff were informed of the possibility. It wasn't until that possibility was confirmed that they informed the Prime Minister at the end of May. The Leader of the Opposition. Based on that account, the Prime Minister knew the day of the transfer, and his off office knew three months earlier. The government has in the past issued directives to correction services on what should be done with various classes of prisoners, like by forcing those with contraband into dry prison cells, for example. In other words, they do have the power to direct corrections on these issues. The Prime Minister and his office knew for three months. Given that he's here in Ottawa today, does he have the courage to explain his decision to let this monster go out of a maximum security penitentiary, yes or no? opposition officer uh, who I know cares as deeply about the gravity of those crimes and the impact on the families as I do. I know he cares as deeply about what we're going to do for Canadians on that. I also know that he knows the independent uh, independence of our correctional services system. I know that he also knows that we're not supposed to interfere politically. And so I would ask him to work collaboratively with us to find a way where we don't politicize Correctional Services Canada and we work together to make sure that the families who are impacted in crimes of these nature are, are taken care of, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Uh, I look across at the Prime Minister's seat. I know that he is in Ottawa today, and if he had the courage, he would be standing to answer these questions directly. No, that's, that's, I just want to remind the Honourable Members that we can't do indirectly what we do directly. So let him continue. And I take the House Leader up on his challenge to work with us. We have a bill that would make sure every mass murderer stays in a maximum exactly. security right. penitentiary. It's before the House. Will the government pass it with unanimous consent today? We have a point of order for the Honourable Member from Niagara, for Niagara Falls. Thank you, Speaker. If you seek it, I believe that you will find unanimous consent for the following motion. That notwithstanding any standing order, special order, or usual practice of this House, be Bill C-342, an act to amend the Corrections and Conditional Release Act, maximum, maximum security offenders, be deemed read a second time and referred to a committee of the whole, deemed considered in committee of the whole, deemed reported without amendment, deemed concurred in at report stage, and deemed read a third time and passed. All those opposed to the Honourable Member moving the motion will please say nay. nay. nay uh, unfortunately, we don't have unanimous consent.